If you wanna look like an athlete, you gotta train like an athlete. time footage it's not slowed down probably thought I meant something else but in our defense we're moving so slow because we did tempo sprints so we started at one speed and we sped up as we got further down the track we did that to prevent injury due to starting a new training system you don't want to just jump into maximal effort we could have done better and we will get better but there were some issues there were some problems we weren't the most skilled at sprinting and we'll get more into those problems and issues later on in the video. Stay tuned. lies within a concept of exercise specificity basically working out for specific goals that you set now if you understand where I'm at in this process I'm at the beginning of a power phase power has a lot to do with explosion triple extension some other concepts so you have two different forms of cardio or two different ways to approach exercise you have anaerobic and you have aerobic Anaerobic is the ability for to your body to be explosive, um, the ability for your body to do things at maximal effort for one minute or less in time. During this time, your body is using primarily carbohydrates as a source of energy. Anytime you do anything aerobic, your body's using what you call the oxidative system and it's primarily using fats as a source of energy. When doing a power program, I wanna make sure that even um, my cardio phases and what I'm doing that for actual weight fat loss or just to be moving throughout the day kind of goes towards the specific goal that I've set. So with the specific goal being power, I'm making sure that even the cardio aspect, cardiovascular aspect or um, what I'm doing to just maintain a certain body composition directly correlates to the goals that I've set and being more powerful and being more explosive. Now, what will these sprints and being more powerful do for my physique? And what will it do for my clothing? What is it gonna make me look like? Well, if we look at one group of individuals in particular, a group of individuals that I would say, based on what their style has put them in, always look amazing, it would be athletes, top level athletes, David Beckhams, the LeBron Jameses. These people train year round to obtain these tip top bodies so that they can perform at the sports that they play in. So, when their stylists dress them, they also look great in whatever they're wearing. Whether it's urban, more streetwear, or it's tailored, more bespoke clothing, they look amazing in everything. But the thing that you gotta get here is, if you wanna look like an athlete, you gotta train like an athlete. So, 
I'm going to train like an athlete so that I can have those same eye popping shoulders that LeBron James has. Or I'm going to train like an athlete so that I'm on the beach. I have the David Beckham abs that David Beckham has. I'm going to train like an athlete so that I look like an athlete and so that my clothes look better and I look more athletic and I look like I have a more commanding presence when I walk into a room. Because everybody knows when someone who's in great shape and has great style walks in the room, they tend to grab everybody's attention. So train like an athlete to look like an athlete. But this presents one problem. The problem that this presented was, I've never run track. I understand how to work power. I've done cleans, I've done snatches. Very familiar with Olympic weightlifting, but I've never done sprints. Or should I say, I've never done sprints correctly. I don't understand how the foot is supposed to hit the ground. I don't understand the beginning of the sprint and the acceleration phase. I don't understand the different drills and exercises you need to do to get your knees up. I had to seek a way to get this information. I don't know anybody personally that does sprint workouts. I don't know a, a, a track coach. So I had to go and get the information on my own. So I purchased these two books, Developing Speed and The Art of Sprinting. Through this, I'm gonna try and I'm gonna attempt to teach myself how to create a great sprint program, but at the same time, create a way to work on whatever weaknesses that we have. Follow me on this process as I take in this information and hopefully be able to regurgitate it to you guys so that you can build your own sprint programs. But I'm starting at square one. I'm starting from scratch. And through taking in these two and going out and getting the information, I should be able to be pretty proficient and running good times. I want to get down to somewhere around a one minute 400 meter. That's pretty fast. It's not elite level, but it's quicker than the average individual. So hopefully I'll be able to get there in the next couple of months for 12 to 16 weeks. But let's talk about what I'm wearing today. So let's talk personal style. Why did I choose to wear what I'm wearing today? It feels more autumn and fall rather than it does summer. And it is still summer, but when I woke up and I looked out the window, I didn't feel like it was summer. I felt like leaves should be on the ground. And I always approach each day and each outfit with the idea that possibly I could come across the next great photographer or, and he's gonna want me to be in his next picture. If that's the case, I wanna fit the theme. I wanna be that focal point on that canvas of that painting by that artist because photography is art. Obviously you see green trousers, which are just the components from olive green suit. I have braces on, olive green herringbone, braces, never suspenders. Definitely want the buttons, you don't want the clips. Burnt orange tie to just pull everything together. There's obviously a, a lighter green in the tie that definitely ties in the trouser, the two greens, but also just the tones and definitely pull the outfit together too. And then a white shirt, just keeping it clean, keeping it crisp. Every guy should have more than one, five, six, seven white shirts in their closet because they fit every occasion and they always look good. So I hope that you enjoyed this vlog. I hope that you liked it. I hope that um, it was everything that you guys expected it to be and I hope that it's continuing to develop because I'm trying to add new things and new elements to it and continue to make it better. If you have any questions, if you have anything that you think I should add or you want to hear me talk about, please comment below. If you haven't already and you're enjoying and you want to continue to see my videos, please subscribe and then also give this video a thumbs up and as always, build a body that suits.